Today we will learn about creating a full Windows 10 system image backup, using Windows 10 inbuilt backup and restore utility. System image backup was first introduced in Windows 7. A system image backup can be used to recover files and restore your entire PC in case of system failure. Creating a system image backup is an easy task. Right click on the start button, and then click control panel. Once the control panel is open, change the icon view from category to large icons. Then click, backup and restore Windows 7. From the backup and restore window, click create a system image from the left side pane. A system image is a copy of the drives required to run Windows. You can also include additional drives if you want. Later, you can use a system image to completely restore your computer to the date, when you had created the image. However, you cannot restore individual items within from system image, and the data of same drives will be replaced with image backup. So make sure that you don't have any data on the same drives, or move your current data to another location before restoring your system. You will be asked to choose the location, where you want to store your system image backup, and you have three options to choose from. The first option is, on a hard disk. You can store the image on another partition of your current hard disk drive, or you can use an external drive, which is much safer. The second option is to create DVDs. How many DVDs will be used, depends on the size of total data that is being backup. Last option is to store the image on a network location. If you want to store your system image on a network location, then you may require configuring additional network settings to accomplish this task. I'm going to take backup on a hard disk drive, so I choose the first option, and then select the desired partition or disk, where I want to save the image. The size of the disk or partition must be greater than the image size. Click the next button, and you will be asked to select the drives that you want to include in your system image. As I told you before that you can include additional drives in your system image backup, but generally we use system image just to save a copy of our Windows partitions, which in my case now are the, system reserved partition, and C drive, and both are selected by default. If I check an additional partition, like E drive, then all the data of this drive will also be included in the system image, and later if you restore your image, then data on this drive will be replaced with current image backup. After selecting the desired partitions, click the next button, and you will be asked to confirm your backup settings. If everything seems fine and you don't want to modify any additional settings, then click the start backup button. The time duration of backup depends on the partitions and data size. Once the backup is complete, you will be prompted to create a system repair disk. A system repair disk is used to boot your computer, in case of system failure. This system disk will include recovery tools, which will help you to recover your windows from some serious error, or restore your system from a system image. Insert a USB drive, and then click Yes. Later, you can boot from this USB disk to recover your system easily. You can check your image files by going to the same drives, where you took the backup, and you will see a folder name, Windows Image Backup. In future, if something goes wrong with your Windows, and you want to restore your image, then either you can use the repair disk that we created earlier, or you can use advanced boot option to start troubleshooting. You can watch our another video about booting into Windows using advanced startup options. You can also boot into advanced startup options through your current Windows session. To do this, right click the start button, point to shut down or sign out, then hold down the shift key, while clicking on restart button. Click troubleshoot, and then click advanced options, after that click system image recovery. Your computer will restart and you will get into system image recovery.
click the username and then enter the password. Your computer will automatically scan if there is any previous system image is available. You can also manually search for an image by clicking on select a system image. Here you can configure any additional installation option, and then click next. Click finish to start restoring image. Do remember that once, the restoration is started, it can't be interrupted. If this happens, then you may need to restart the recovery, or have to choose another recovery options. System images are perfect for cyber or internet cafes, where hundreds of people use the system, and unintentionally download and install various types of applications. Then the administrator can use system images to restore computers to previous state in a few minutes. If you like this video, then do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos.